Hello, my name is Cynthia Fralahan, and I am the founder and president of The Bodice Project. And The Bodice Project is an exhibit that focuses on post-breast cancer healing. What I have found, and many people now find, is that when patients go in and the doctor cures them of cancer, they walk away and they still have physical and deep emotional scars. And so I began this exhibit, not even as an exhibit, I was asked to be an advocate for my best friend who already had MS, called me in a panic, found a huge lump in her breast and said, I need a doctor and would you be my advocate? And of course, and I got her doctor that day, got her fast tracked and I walked this path with her. But I would come home and get very depressed <laughs> and sad. I was scared of my loser. And so finally I got myself up and w said, I got to do something in the studio because I'm an artist. And the irony is <clears throat> I'm not a sculptor, I'm a painter. But I, I decided to do this to help promote another organization, a nonprofit that was doing a very big event, it's only one event a year, and they, all their monies go to a wonderful charity called Breast Cancer Awareness of Cumberland Valley, which is a totally free charity, which is highly unusual. And so I kept saying, people need to know where the money's going, you know, you'll make more money that way. Anyway, so someone said, put something colorful in the windows, Cynthia. So I just had this image of torsos because we're talking about breast cancer. And so I began wrapping women that have had breast cancer. And then I asked about six other artists at the beginning because I don't do things in a small way. And I wanted to get as many as possible in time for this event. Well, as I kept putting them up, I was thinking, oh, I'd love to see these all together. They're great. And one of the artists uh, was head of the community college in Hagerstown. Maryland and she said we have a great gallery would you like to have an exhibit and I said yes so from there we just began it was one exhibit it was the next exhibit the show kept growing more artists more breast cancer survivors reached out we improved the show each time because we had to have our own pedestals and then we decided we were going to do armatures and then there's all the signage a lot of work has gone into this and wonderful volunteers and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears also for this. Um, but that is how it started. And we have just now, we're in our seventh year. And now we are thrilled to say that we are exhibiting in museums. The exhibit happened by pairing a breast cancer survivor with an artist. And that artist worked closely with the breast cancer survivor to create a piece specifically in their honor. That's what's a little bit different about this exhibit. These are actual breast cancer survivors and each artist dealt with a survivor themselves. And so if you read the artist's statements, I think that that impact, it was not only on the survivor, but also on the artist. And the first woman that I wrapped that was a survivor, she's very shy, sweet, British woman, and as I was wrapping her, because that's a very intimate process, she said, Cynthia, this gives me a sense of community. I have felt so isolated. It chokes me up every time I think of that because that is something I knew, but this exhibit has made something happen where people gather together and they, they share stories Almost everyone has been touched by breast cancer in some way, whether it's you, whether it's in your family, whether it's a friend. It's just everywhere, sadly. And so this exhibit has just taken on a life of its own. And I just am driving the bus at this point is the way I feel about it. Uh, we work very hard, but we're very proud of our track record and we continue to keep going. The title of one of my pieces, and the most recent one, is called The Golden Thread. And I dedicated that to my dear friend that I spoke of. And I had to capture her essence. She's such a strong person, but as I mentioned, she had MS. 
So wrapping her wasn't even really an option. I, I used a mannequin form, which bothered me, but what didn't bother me is once I got to the point where I was embellishing it, painting it and embellishing it, is that she, I had the strong image, she was president and worked for an organization called the Apple Blossom Festival, which is in Winchester, Virginia, for almost 40 years. And here she was coming up to be president of it right as she's diagnosed with breast cancer. So I thought, okay, apple blossoms. It's gotta be something about apple blossoms. But that didn't cut it for me. But then I remember she had spoken to me about the golden thread. The golden thread that runs through all of our lives, that connects all of our family and our friends. And I'm so pleased with the way the piece turned out. And she was so honored to see it. And I'm just delighted with the way, I hope you all like it. I'm delighted with the way that one turned out. But I want to say that there's so many different artists and magnificent artwork, magnificent. Mine is just a piece and was the basis of it. But the way the work has grown and the incredible artists that are participating now, I would take this exhibit anywhere, and I'm very particular. So this is uh, a very special exhibit, and I really hope you all enjoy it. The Bodice Project will continue as breast cancer is still so prevalent, and I look forward to the day where the Bodice Project is a historic exhibit. So we will carry on and carry the message to artists and survivors, and. The goal is to help lift these survivors up and honor them. And it's healing through art, which I totally believe in.